For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, we're gonna do this problem now that says determine the maximum weight of the block that can be suspended in the position if the uh, both these cables can support a maximum of 80 pounds and then what is the angle theta for equilibrium so this is how we start you know that in statics the sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero so the negative tension AB which is this tension right here sine of 20 which is the x component of the tension plus tension CAB sine of theta which is this component of this force is equal to zero since this force is going straight down and this force is going to the side this force doesn't have an and uh, x component so you know that the tension CAD <coughs> sine of theta is equal to the tension AB sine of 20 tension CAD is equal to the tension AB <coughs> sine of 20 over sine of theta So let's call, let's call this equation 1. Then you know that the sum of the forces in the y are also equal to 0. So the tension AB times the cosine of 20, which is this component of the tension AB, minus tension CAD, minus tension CAD cosine of theta because this one's going straight down and this one's going to the side so it's cos times cosine of theta is equal to zero so tension AB cosine of 20 is equal to tension CAD times 1 plus cosine of theta so what I did is I factor out the tension CAD so you get tension CAD uh, minus tension CAD uh, times 1 plus cosine of theta and I pass it to the other side and I get this so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna plug in this value for tension CAD that I got from equation 1 into this equation and replace it for this and I am gonna get tension AB cosine of 20 is equal to tension AB sine of 20 over sine of theta times 1 plus cosine of theta so this means that tension AB cosine of 20 is equal to tension AB sine of 20 over sine of theta plus tension AB sine of 20 cosine of theta over sine of theta so I'm gonna divide this whole equation by the tension AB and cancel them out and I'm gonna get cosine of 20 is equal to sine of 20 over sine of theta plus sine of 20 cosine of theta over sine of theta now by multiplying actually let me pass I'm gonna pass this to the other side this one I'm gonna pass it to this side of the equation I'm gonna get cosine of 20 minus sine of 20 cosine of theta over sine of theta is equal to sine of 20 over sine of theta let me to scroll down a bit a little more space so I'm gonna multiply this whole equation by hold on one second 
sorry about that. I'm going to multiply this whole equation by sine of the sine of theta. So this is going to cancel out, this is going to cancel out, and I'm going to get sine of theta cosine of 20 minus sine of 20 cosine of theta is equal to sine of 20. But you know that our trigonometric trig identity is called the angle sum and difference identity. In this case, it's angle difference identity. It tells us that sine of an angle minus another angle is equal to sine of the first angle cosine of the second angle minus cos, uh, sorry, sine of the second angle cosine of the first angle. So we can apply it into into here and we get that sine of theta minus 20 is equal to sine of 20 which means that theta minus 20 is equal to 20 which means that theta is equal to 40 degrees so basically what I'm gonna do is this 40 degrees remember theta is equal to 40 degrees I'm gonna scroll up I'm gonna plug it into here I'm going to plug it into here and when I do I'm going to get that tension CAD is equal to 0.532 tension AB. Now what does this mean? This means that tension AB is bigger than tension CAD. Since tension AB is withstanding the greater amount of force then we have to set tension AD equal to 80 pounds. Why? Because this equation tells us that t uh, tension AB is always going to be greater than tension CAD. If we make tension CAD 80 pounds and TAB is always greater than 80 pounds, then the system will fail because the maximum tension they can both withstand is 80 pounds. So the greater, the one gr uh, withstanding the greater force is going to be the one we set equal to the maximum. So tension and B is equal to 80 pounds and when you plug that into this formula you get that tension CAD is equal to 42.57 pounds since tension CAD is 42.57 pounds the maximum weight the grade can we hold is 42.57 pounds Final answer. Final answer for or is it TAB, DCAD, and final answer for the angle. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.